What's good guys, how are you all doing? With the weekend league over, the daily knockout tournament has opened. And what is up for grabs, you might ask? A foot birthday card. It's a little bit random, but you wouldn't complain if you packed yourselves Eto, David Villa, very nice reward. So I'm gonna show you the team that I use and we will have the live rewards at the end. So make sure to leave a like, 2000 would be fantastic. If you're needing game codes or anything game related, head over to g2a.com, use that code Fuji for cash back and let's get into it. To enter this tournament, you do need to meet certain requirements. Eight players from the same nation. So you can take a look at what I've done with my team. I themed it around the Spanish cards, especially PK, 92 rated team of the season. I wanted to give him a go. Six foot four. And one thing that is amazing about the defensive partnership, you got the height from PK and the quickness from Asper Quetta. It complements each other so well. In the right back position, I used DeMarcos. And I want to say I haven't used him before. If I have, then I'm sorry. I can't remember. 26,750 isn't actually a bad purchase at all. He plays well in game. I think he's better than Carvajal's team of the season for the fact that he's so much quicker. And that might be a good investment as well for future SBCs. 26K isn't really too much at all. Another card that you guys recommended uh, for me to give a go, I think this was a couple of weeks back and I had already built a team on the road to glory. You know that I liked non-informed Sal. I think he's one of the best non-informed cards you can purchase in that sentiment position. He's very well-rounded. He can get tackles and actually score goals. 37 thousand five hundred uh, coins what a price for an 85 rated man of the match and with the catalyst chemistar his acceleration is going up to near enough 90 so he's uh, pretty good to position and i'm pleased that i gave him a go look at that four games two goals uh, sorry two assists in a cdm position and that's pretty good uh emory chan i've gone off of a little bit i don't know why don't ask me i used to love him don't like him don't like him anymore you've got herrera that blows hot and cold. He does good things in certain games and then goes missing. I went and purchased Mane. I thought, why not? Buy the bullet. Go and uh, pick him up. 311,000 coins. Four games, no goals, three assists. Oh dear. We'll speak about him in a second. Diego Costa isn't a typical player that I'd go for. He looks like he's going to be heavy. That target man sluggish card, six foot two, or that 95 dribbling could have fixed it. So four games, three goals, no assists. And I dropped in, obviously, Martial to finish off the squad. So my custom tactics are looking something like this. Not well, not really too many changes to them. And I switched the team up to a 4 1 2 1 2, played Sal as the CDM and had Mane as the cam. So hopefully, you guys like the look of that team. If you want to copy it, then please do. But I'll let you know who's worth it, who isn't. And let's go to the clips. So I've got to say this FIFA 17 has to be the most inconsistent game that I've played throughout the whole of the FIFA franchise. It is unbelievable. I've left the stats after every single game to give you guys a better understanding of what's happening in the match itself. The semi final and the game before that, I took around 26 shots, 18 of those roughly were on target, and I was barely scraping wins like 1 0 or 2 1. I, in fact, actually won the game. Go to the final, take four shots, they all fly in. What? Why? Is that so much connection based or is that the fact that the game's buggy? Whatever it is, we need to bring some more consistency to FIFA 18. With the way this team played though, I was very much impressed with the defense. PK, so pleased that I used him. His pace wasn't an issue. Very strong going into the tackle and clean tackles coming away with it pretty much like 90% of the time, which is which is awesome. And him and Asper Quetta did a good job, and I would actually recommend the back four for the Weekend League. Daily Knockout Tournament especially. The Weekend League, you might want to change out PK if you don't like uh, slow players, but he isn't actually that slow. So uh, yeah, I'd recommend it for the tournament. You've got Sal in that CDM position. Like He is naturally a centre mid, but I wouldn't play him there. He doesn't have the attacking threat. If you bring him back to that CDM position, he is going to break up the play, good tackles, and unfortunately, Unfortunately though, with how late we are into FIFA, there are so many other better options. So if you're looking to build a team for this tournament, then go for Sal. He was very fun to use. Emre Chan had gone off of a little bit. Herrera, 50-50. Mane wasn't really that great for me. I didn't notice too much of a difference between that card to his 87. I don't think that team of the season is worth it. 300,000 coins is pretty expensive. He didn't score any goals and I was trying to pop those finesses. The 87 was amazing for me outside the box. That 91 I couldn't get on with. And and the 94 Costa, oh dear, he's not that great to be fair. I was expecting him to feel a little bit better on the ball. No heavy sluggish target man. That just doesn't suit my style. Might be for you if you're looking to hold up the play and then bring in your attackers in a 4-3-2-1 formation. Unfortunately, 
is not for me. I use a 4-1-2-1-2 -1 and I'm needing players to do the give and go and run in behind. So uh, yeah, we won the tournament. It was uh, very, very easy to be fair. Only a couple of the games where the gameplay literally was deciding if I could score or I couldn't. So uh, yeah, the semi-final and the game before that tricky. The final itself, the guy rage quit after I scored four goals. So we do have a special foot birthday pack. Let's go and see if we can get ourselves David Villa. That'd be absolutely awesome. Drop a like on the video and let's go. From the list of the foot birthday players, the ones that I can remember, Muriel, Abon Lahore, Darren Ben, David Villa and Eto. Are there any others? Maybe. I would really much like an Eto, but David Villa, number one priority. That'd be amazing as we had that Spanish theme. It would just uh, mean something. So let's go, foot birthday player. Uh, please give me something good. It's good. Oh, I thought it was going to give me a walkout. It's a huge flare. Is it going to be Samuel Eto striker? It's a. It's Darren Ben. I told you, Darren Ben. Wow, what a sweaty, sweaty striker. I've used him. I do remember. I think I had him and uh, a bottle hot up the top, and he was terrible for me. Let's take a look at his prize. Darren Ben, though, 12,000 coins. Absolute discard. I wonder, actually, if they're going to bring out a requirement for the next end of the year at SPC that you're going to need to use one of these cards. So before you sell anything, I might even do a couple of investments, purchase maybe two or three. I don't think they're asked for more than that. So yeah, maybe two or three cards would be good. So Darren Ben, he's probably gonna be used for a future SBC. If you've enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like. Let me know how you got on with the tournament. Tweet me your teams. What theme? Did you go for an Italian side, an English team? Let me know. Thanks for watching. Team out. Peace.